Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to be showing you how to fix your cutting mats that you use in your Vagabond or other die cutting machine. I hope you'll stay tuned. So here is my cutting mat. I'm going to link the video where I show you how to make this to replace one of your plastic layers that goes through your cutting machine. But in this video, I just want to show you how to kind of clean it up and remove all of the cuts from it. Because these are self-healing cutting mats, you don't want to put them in a place that's hot. You don't want to use hot water for this process. You want to use very mild cleansers if you use a cleanser. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my baby it's, this is baby shampoo in water. That's all it is. And I'm going to use one of the bibs that I have. And I'm going to just try to take off some of the paper fibers that are left behind. Things like that. You want to clean those up if you can. If you need to use a brush, I'm going to just take this off screen for a second because it's kind of pilling up and I don't want to get the mess everywhere. Our goal in this video is to try to make our cutting mat uh, cleaner so that it doesn't have all these cuts in it. And because it's a self-healing mat, the way you do that, first you have to remove all these fibers. And I still have some fibers that I'm going to need to take off with a brush. But once I do that, the only thing you need to do after that is you're going to get a damp towel. And this is going to be with just um, room temperature water. You're going to take that wet towel, damp, not, not soaking wet, just damp, and you're going to put it over this image and you're going to leave it overnight. So let me clean this off and I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I can get some of the rest of these fibers out of it. So this is what it looks like before I'm going to put the towel on it. And here's my towel. So I wanted to show you what it looks like when it's done. This is just after letting the cloth sit on it for overnight. Look how much better it looks. It doesn't look really cut at all and uh, it looks ready to go. I wanted to go over a couple things about how you do this to begin with to make, to replace one of your cutting plates and the best way I can tell you to do this is I got my cutting mat at Hobby Lobby and it wasn't much bigger than this to begin with. Then we just cut it down using this plate as the prototype to just cut along the side of it. And then because mine wasn't, it was a little bit too thin, I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought the chopping mats. They come in two, a package of two and I wish I could show you what they look like when they're um, when they're in the packaging, but this is one of them attached to the bottom of my cutting plate. And I will say this, I've noticed over time that it seems like the center of mine doesn't cut as well, so I might have to add another one of these, but I'll link the old video so you know how long ago it was that I made this, and it's been at least a year. I'm not sure exactly how long, but it's been at least a year, and uh, it's worked really well since then. And like I said, by adding this, it made it thick enough. But if I have to add a second one, that's no big deal because another 25 cents worth of cutting mat won't bother me. So I hope that this gave you an idea of how to get your mat to look better. And even if you just use it for sewing, this will basically re, um, like it lays all of the cut areas back down and makes them fresh again. I hope you enjoyed this, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.